sitting next to you. Tell me a little bit about uh, that one over there. This one is my great granddaughter. Her name is Kayla. And or Michaela. Or Michaela is her full name, but we call her Kayla. And uh, she has been with us since she was two and a half. Uh, and it's my, my life now. We started realizing that mom was not actually being responsible enough to have this child. And so we, we kind of had to intervene. We got her from a shelter that uh, after they'd been picked up. We definitely have times where it's sadder than others. You know, we haven't known where her mother is for over a year now. So this is just kind of the results of us picking up the pieces of a broken little girl. Substance abuse has affected my life and almost everybody in our family because of the isolation that it causes and responsibilities that are not kept. We, we used to not tell her what we knew because it would be hurtful to her. And, and that's one of the things that we realized when she turned seven that she was old enough to know the truth. Through Peaceful Family Solutions, we break up into groups once we go to these meetings and uh, the adults are in one room and we talk about our own, you know, feelings and hurts and stuff. And the counselors are with the children, helping them bring out their feelings. And like I said, it's, it's like therapy that they don't really know they're getting, but it opens them up to talk about feelings through the rocks. There were 12 rocks. There were words like addiction, confusion, abuse, fear, sad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> if you were looking at all those rocks, was there one rock that stood out to you? Mad. And why did mad stand out to you? Because I keep on being mad at my mom for hanging with addiction. You're holding a rock in your hand right now. What does that one say? Guilty. You chose that rock today when I went and looked in your room. How come you chose that one? Because it was pink and pink is my favorite color. <laughs> Perfect. My favorite thing about living with my nanny and papa uh -oh. is that I get to be with them. And I don't have to be adopted. She knows she can talk about anything now. And before, and you know, and partly on our part, is that we didn't know what she could handle as far as, you know, how much sadness can you put on a little girl. It's hurtful, and I have had a hard time with forgiveness. Uh, you know, you could say that we got our retirement stolen but I can't really think that way. My biggest fear is not being able to raise her to be around long enough to raise her. You know about safe people, don't you? <laughs>